be submissive to God. In the book of Ephesians, in the book of the church, it gets us, it starts with this magnificent authority scripture. And then it trains you to reign. Children, obey your parents. Love one another. And it gets you all cleaned up. And why? Because in Ephesians 6, and that's where we are right now in the church. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen? With authority. You can have authority, but you got to manifest the power. You getting this? You got to have, this is a pairing, authority and power. And then you add the threefold cord and it's faith to execute. You got to have faith to execute. I can tell you all these words and give you this message, but Chad, you got to have faith, that's right? right? That's right. Yeah, let's have a little symbol on that one. That was really good. Yeah. You got to have faith to execute. I can preach my little heart out to you, darling, but you've got to have And it says, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. All right. What does this word flee, that that bunch of words, flee from you? What does it mean? Run in terror, darling. You could be a holy terrorist. Can I say that publicly? Uh, You know, listen, I was thinking of a story. Uh, I was preaching in the south of Argentina. I was teaching two days on breaking witchcraft. What a fun subject. Who gave me that assignment? Ed Savoso did. Anyway, so I'm teaching on breaking witchcraft. So I fly into this city, and, uh, you know, it was just a tough city. They told me, uh, Baya Blanca in the south, and they said, they said, nobody's ever been able to break through here. Carlos Anacondia came. He had a very, you know, uh, small meeting, and, and then I should have turned, I felt like I should turn around and go home right there, you know, because I so admire Carlos. And anyway, you know, but, you know, there was so much occult in that city. But we cried out to the Lord, and it was cold, it was freezing cold. They didn't have any heat in any of their buildings there in the south, and any of the facilities we were using. Uh, We grew fatter every session because we were putting on every piece of clothing we had, you know, underneath the other ones just to try to insulate against the cold. And so I remember that I was preaching and all of a sudden I started calling out a demon of Macumba. Do you know what Macumba is? It's it's, um, a mix of, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Latin American occult mixed with what came from Africa. So it's a mixture, a mixta, and it's a mixture. And it's very, very strong. I mean, they will curse you with a Macumba curse, and, yeah. and many die. I mean, it's a real deal. And so I started pulling that out, and, and we had a packed house. I mean, every inch of the opera was full, all the, all the bottom and all the tiers, you know, all the, the balconies were full. And all of a sudden, I looked over to the side, And there was this guy, kind of like the mosh pit. He was flailing up and down, and people were holding him over their heads, these ushers, trying to get him to the front. And I started calling those demons out of him. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden, I just saw him disappear, and I said, just take him to the back and cast the devil out of him. So when they got back there, this man started saying how his father was a Macumba priest and had cut him open as a child in the form of a cross and poured blood into him. You know, we're doing all these rituals on him. And so they started commanding that spirit to come out. And all of a sudden, this man threw up a big ball, what they said, with living hair. I mean, I don't know if it was a bunch of worms or what, but they said it looked like living hair. And you know, some people that are so under that spell in Macumba, they have to sometimes get, get demons cast out of them before they can get saved. And so he came up, and he got gloriously saved after that, and God gloriously healed him. So we've got to learn to resist. One time I was preaching in the city of La Plata, and I was preaching in another indoor stadium. I mean, you have to get this. I was like, ah, 39, 40, something like that. And And so I was teaching, and I started to do a healing service. I called people forward to be saved. And the Lord showed me this one man there, was a brujo, a witch. And uh, 
You know, that he was working mental control on me. They're very adept at that, in that part of the world. What does that mean? They will, they send demons and they try to control your mind so you can't think. I mean, if you, if they're doing this against you in a service, literally, you can't remember if you're a charismatic where the book of Acts is. I mean, you just can't. It's like your mind gets wiped clean. So I, I knew this guy was doing it. So I pointed my finger at him. I said, you know, uh, say Jesus. You know, and I started just commanding him. His face looked like silly buddy, putty. I mean, it began to contort. There was such a contortion. And all of a sudden, I commanded that demon out of him. He got totally saved, and he got free. That's resisting the devil. One time, I was going to a meeting, and the Lord had showed me there was a lot of demons in this building. And so I stood up in my room, and I said this. Listen, you demons in that church, named to the church. I said, I am coming to preach there, and you better not be there when I get there. And they weren't. We have to take authority. We have to know our authority. We have to walk in our authority. And I want to tell you something. This is good news. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you. The same. the same spirit come on say it that raised jesus from the dead dwells in me we need to learn to resist the devil and he'll flee i know how i got to telling revival stories i was preaching in the city of resistencia a city that you know if you know in spanish what that means it literally means resistance and so i was preaching we had a big outdoor meeting uh and i don't know how many we had about seventeen thousand that night and I, I couldn't see to the back, but the Holy Spirit showed me over on the side, um, which would have been to my left, uh, I saw a Macumba priest, and I saw them set up a little altar. I saw this all played out in my spirit. And I, and I rebuked him, and I said, look, I know you're trying to curse me. You have your Macumba altar. You have everything set up. And then I stopped him and said, it's not working. And we got the report. This is the God off, God honest truth, not awful. God honest truth. Later on, there were some people that were there by that Macumba priest, and uh, he had set up a little altar, you know, and lit the candles and throwing poofy stuff in the air. And then when I said that, it's not working. Literally, the priest blew up the candles, packed them in his little bag, and left. Resist the devil and he will flee. 